<laughs> I don't love it. Hi everyone, Morgan here. Today I am trying a bunch of English sweets. I've been living in London for three years and it dawned on me like a couple of weeks ago that I'd never tried a lot of English lollies. And I'm just going to mention this once now. In New Zealand we call sweets lollies. So everything's a lolly unless it's chocolate, you know. I know here in the UK they call things on sticks lollies. Like would you call this a lolly? It's on a stick. I'm not really entirely sure. For everything else I believe they call sweets. I don't even know, but everything to me is a lolly unless it's chocolate. I put on my Instagram, what are some classic UK sweets that are gluten free that I can try for a video? And it turned out I hadn't had most of them. There is definitely like a Cadbury crossover of things that we have in New Zealand and in the UK. There are a lot of similarities, but there's also a lot that are different. So even though a lot of UK chocolate bars especially have gluten in them, like Lion Bar and Star Bars, there was actually a lot that I could find that were also gluten free that I hadn't tried before. So that's what we're doing today. I've got a cup of green tea here because I always find that if you're eating a lot of sweet things, green tea helps you not have that sickly sweet feeling in your mouth. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, it all started with the classic walnut whip. These guys here. I'd never heard of these until I put my mellow puff recipe on Instagram and people were asking me are these the same things as a walnut whip and they're not of course because the walnut whip has no biscuit in it um, but I think it's kind of like a marshmallowy inside so let's start with these ones I have very high hopes for the walnut whip because so many people said it was their like favorite thing so here we go Just triple checking it's gluten free Yeah, it's pretty much just a chocolatey uh, mellow puff, but without the biscuit. That's what the inside looks like. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, they're pretty good. I'm going to do a rating system as well. So at the moment, these are doing pretty well. If this ends 10... And this ends one. I'm gonna put the walnut whips at an eight. So I've had a chocolatey one. Let's have a not chocolatey one. Should I have this? This is the drumstick mega. Hopefully it also represents the normal drumstick. I'm not sure. Wait, this is bubblegum. Bubblegum flavored or it is bubblegum? It looks like just one of those classic like chewy lollies. Never seen one on a stick though. Oh, it's got different colors. Cute. Okay. Oh man. This is gonna hurt my teeth. Oh! <laughs> it's not bubblegum. It's gonna be extremely difficult to get out of my teeth. Oh, to be honest, I don't even want to go in for a second bite because it might pull out my fillings. <laughs> It's good though. I can really imagine me vibing this as a kid. So yeah, tastes like bubblegum, isn't bubblegum, very true. Kind of think I'm gonna be picking that out of my teeth for days. The drumstick. I'm giving this a six. Next one is actually one we've got in New Zealand, but I've never before tried in my entire life. Bounty bar. The reason why I've never tried these is because I think I'm gonna hate them. I love coconut and I love chocolate and together that chocolatey, what is it, coconut rough Cadbury or Whitaker's chocolate, amazing. But I just don't think this is going to be it. <laughs> this is a bar that's split into two minis so this is one. <laughs> I don't love it. Nice chocolate on the outside. No, it's something about that texture. <laughs> I know these are so beloved, so it's more of a me thing. <laughs> Not that it's bad, it's just, it's the texture. I'm just putting this as a one. It's 
Obviously, this is just my opinion. Ugh. I, do you know what I think had something to do with it? When I was a kid, I convinced myself I was allergic to coconut. I don't care to elaborate further. <laughs> Percy Pigs! This is a classic, and I think I have tried these once before, but not in a really long time. Now, apparently there's some sort of conversations around which is the better flavour because of something to do with gelatin. I feel like there's a whole history on it. They used to make Percy Pigs with gelatin, but to make them more accessible to everyone, they made them vegetarian. But then they changed the recipe too much and they tasted gross, so then they went with the original recipe. No, maybe it's the other way around. What happened? I'm not good enough at explaining this. Um, pigs. Vegetarian. So apparently in 2011, Percy Pig sweets originally contained real pig. <laughs> That's a nice way of putting it. In 2011, a veggie Percy range was launched. A vegetarian variety of Percy Pig sweets using bee wax and pea protein, having green ears to indicate that they were vegetarian. I'm on the Percy Pig Wikipedia page. But then in 2016, M&S began using a new gelatin-free recipe for some other varieties of Percy Pig sweets. And from May 2019, all Percy Pig sweets were 100% gelatin free. That's enough Percy Pig history for the day. These are just the plain ones, I think, but obviously gelatin free. Okay, let's crack into it. Little guy. Here is Percy, I imagine. Wow, they smell so sweet. Mm. Mm hmm. It's soft. It's slightly chewy. It's got a sharpness. It's everything you want in a lolly. I'm going to rate this at 8, and not just because I want people in the UK to like me, but because I think it deserves it. Okay. Mmm. And that aftertaste of cherry? Lovely. Green tea is actually a really good palate cleanser for sweet things. Changing my rating for Percy Pigs to 9. 10's good, by the way. It's not number 1. I probably should have clarified that at the start. Next up, let's do something different. Whoa! Look at this! I found this <laughs> at Co-op. Um, it's called Twin Peaks and it's inspired by the Reckon and Urkel Hills. It kind of just seems like a Toblerone ripoff. But it's massive, it was like one pound. So I think this is their normal flavour because they had a bunch of different flavours of these. And this is just milk chocolate with almond and honey nougat. Nougat. Nug nougat. Hello. So definitely a Toblerone ripper. It's kind of like misshapen hills. Ugh. That's what it looks like on the inside. Ooh. It tastes like a worse Toblerone. Not necessarily that much worse, but not as good. I don't know if it's the honey, but it's a little bit too sweet for me. You know that kind of plasticky chocolate flavour? That's what we're working with here. Mm, three. Not bad, but it's definitely been better. Dip dab. I don't know what this is. Oh, I have a feeling it's a lollipop that you dip in something. I We have similar at home, just not maybe this brand. Oh yeah, sherbet. Sherbet dip with a tasty strawberry flavoured lolly. I would call that a lollipop, but I'm not from these parts, so Whoa. it's going everywhere. Mmm. Woo! Forgot what sherbet tastes like. I don't think I've had sherbet in years. <coughs> Good though. I forget that like it has that baking soda feel to it. Um, I will say, not the best quality stick. It's already flopping over. But, it's good. I'm gonna say it's better than the Twin Peaks, so it's getting position number four. I just totally forgot what sherbet was for a second. Next up, we've got the Whisper Gold. So, Whisper is a chocolate bar that is native 
to the UK. We don't have Whispers in New Zealand. However, I have tried most of the Whisper varieties. So uh, when I saw the Whisper Gold, I thought I'll add that to it because I feel like Whisper is an important one to have in this video. Pretty sure I'm gonna love this. I'd say it's got a similar inside to like bubbly. So basically this is just like a normal Whisper, but with caramel through it. Can't go wrong with that. I really like these. There you go. I feel like it would do well if you kept it in the fridge because it's quite a soft texture and it would be nice to have like a harder chocolate texture, the soft caramelly middle. But man, that's a debate whether you keep the chocolate in the fridge or not. Let me know in the comments. Do you keep your chocolate in the fridge? I personally don't. I reckon for this it would be good, but all other chocolate I believe tastes better when it's at room temperature. Uh, I'm gonna put this above the hazelnut whips. Drumstick squishies! So this is the same brand as this guy. But this time it looks like the little individual soft ones. And I see these everywhere. I've never tried one, but I've seen them everywhere, so I thought I had to include them. Ooh, okay, so this is what they look like, just rectangles. I kind of thought they were gonna be more of an exciting shape. milk bottle but with just a slight bit of extra fruitiness and I don't really like milk bottles they're nice they're just like kind of boring I guess I'm gonna put this at number two no I'm gonna move the twin peaks to number two drumsticks number three dip dab number four drumstick number five this is where we're at we haven't got a six yet this is seven whispers eight Percy pigs nine our next one is not technically from the UK, <laughs> but we don't get them in New Zealand um, and it kind of looks great. It's the Reese's Nutrageous. I have no excuse for putting it in here other than I thought it looked yum, so. <laughs> Crunchy peanuts, peanut butter, creamy caramel covered with chocolate flavored coating. It looks amazing. Let me double check it's gluten free. It's gluten free. Sometimes you just gotta double check, you know? Right, what are we working with? Okay, looks pretty good. Kind of looks like a picnic bar, if I'm being honest. Whoa. Okay, we're working with a lot of textures. It's definitely sweeter than I was expecting. I thought it was gonna be more peanutty, considering that it's basically just filled with peanuts. But it's pretty good. Here is the inside. Yeah. Do I like it more than the whips? I think I do. Whips are moving down to number six. And the nutritious. Nutritious? Nutrageous. <laughs> it's definitely not nutritious. Is moving to number seven. Our last one of the day. Wham! To me, it feels like a zombie chew. If you're from New Zealand. Or Australia. I don't know where the zombie chews come from to be honest, but it doesn't say what it is It just says with sour crystals. This is the original wham. I like anything that's sour. Oh Just get my head around it. I Wanted it to be more sour and I don't know if it's because I grew up on those insanely sour lollies the TNT lollies from the school canteen that's completely ruined my taste for sour but this isn't that sour to me it is nice though I like it more than the whips it's getting place number seven so that means our final rating has gone bleh, bounty bars at last place Twin Peaks because they're not doing anything that Tolberon can't do and Tolberon's way better um, drumstick squashies, eh, drumstick this thing at number four, dip dabs number five, hazelnut whips number six, wham number seven, nutrageous at number eight, whisper gold at number nine, 
Tracy Pigs at number 10 or number one because they're the best. <laughs> and I don't know, Percy Pigs is something special. Like m &S really cracked it for this one. I haven't tried any of the other Percy Pig products, I don't think. But yeah, whoa, these are great. I'm gonna have such a sugar headache in about three hours. Mmm, there's just something about them. And it's crazy because it does have a cherry flavor, but I normally hate cherry. Mmm, do you know what? I'm not even really that much of a sweets person. I do prefer chocolate more, but this has been really fun. This has really thrown me back to my childhood. And I'm sure there are plenty that I've missed out on. So if you know a gluten-free UK treat that I haven't had that's like a classic UK treat, please let me know in the comments below. Hello. There were definitely some that I got suggested that I couldn't find just in the shops that are local to me, but I will go further if necessary. And I sort of only went to supermarkets. I know that like corner stores, dairies, offies, are they called? Like off licenses. Man, it took me so long to understand what people meant when they were saying offie. I didn't actually go to any of those. And I know that sometimes they have some great sweet choices. So please let me know if there is anything that you think I should try, because I'd love to do a part two of this. Always an excuse to eat a bunch of chocolate and lollies. <laughs> Or, actually, you know what? I could probably do just another whole video on English foods that we don't get in New Zealand if I can find gluten-free versions of them. That could be fun too. Okay, so, well, I've been Morgan, and thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit like. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. And hope you have a fantastic day. Okay, bye!